Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video lesson about how to find the surface area of a cube. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a couple pages of notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a couple problems on your own, and at the end you can see how you did. All right, so the big question is, how do you find the surface area of a cube? Well, here's the example of a, of a cute little Rubik's Cube. If you ever played with a Rubik's Cube before, you know that all the sides are exactly the same length. So if you notice, like we'll say this is one and two. So this side length is two, and that this side length is two, right? And this side length over here is also two, and every single side length is two, right? So because the side lengths are the same, that means every side is gonna have the same area, right? So the big thing to remember about to find the surface area of a cube is you need to find the area of one side and then times it by six. So let's write that down. So find area of one side, okay? And then take that and times it by the number six because there's six sides to a cube. And again, all the sides have the same area. All right, now let's kind of clean this up a little bit. So there's actually a formula to actually find the surface area of a cube. And that formula is surface area equals six a squared, all right? Now, all that a means is just the length of a side. So here, a would be two, all right? So I'm gonna write another line over here and we'll call this side a, all right? So now that you understand uh, the, the formula, let's now actually solve a couple of these. So if you turn the page, and here we have a couple cubes. And the first question says, determine the surface area of the following cube. All right, so all we know is that the length is three. So I'm going to first write down the formula. So surface area equals six a squared. And I know the a value is three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute a three in for the a. So it's going to be six times three squared. Now here's the most important part, okay? You need to follow the order of operations. So exponents before you multiply, right? So three squared is nine, and then nine times six is 54. So I'm gonna write that over here. So surface area is gonna be six times the nine, and then six times nine gives us a surface area of 54. And because it's area, it's gonna be square inches. All right, now for this problem over here, notice it says determine the length of the cube uh, when provided its surface area. That should be a D, provided. So to do this, all you do is you use actually the same exact formula. So surface area equals six A squared, okay? And now this time I'm gonna plug in 216 in for the surface area. So it's gonna be 216 equals 6a squared, and now we just need to solve the equation. So to get the a by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 6, and the 6s cancel out. So 216 divided by 6 is 36. So a squared equals 36. And now remember, a squared means a times a. So the question is, what times what gives us 36? That'd be 6, right? So the way you figure that out is you actually take the square root of both sides, and the square root of 36 is six. So six equals a, which is that length right here. Let's put a little six right, right there. All right, so when you know the formula, you can either figure out the surface area of the cube, or you can use that formula to actually figure out the length of one of the sides. All right, so when you pause the video and try the your turn now problem, and when you're done, uh, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do these two practice problems. So here we have a, a cube, and we know the length is four inches. So all I did is I plugged in the four into our formula, right? So surface area equals six a squared. When I plug the four in, well, four squared is 16, and 16 times six is 96, uh, and the label is gonna be inches squared. So again, that means every one of these sides has an area of 16 square inches, and there's six sides all together, right? for a cube, and that's how you get the, the 96. All right, now this problem, I gave you the surface area, and you had to find the, the length, right? 
So again, when you know the formula, plug it in and solve. So I plug in the 600 and I end up with an answer of 10 inches, right? Notice the label over here is inches squared and the label over here is inches, all right? So again, inches is just the length and inches squared, that's the surface area. All right, how'd you do?